An eerie woman is lucky she wasn't hit by a bullet flying into her room. Her home was one of two houses where windows were shot out in the middle of the night. Police arrested three teens at a home next door. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live in Erie, and Jacqueline, despite the arrests, neighbors are still terrified. Well, for one thing, neighbors tell us that those teens have been released and they've been seen here in the Vista Ridge neighborhood. So tonight, neighbors are meeting and they're talking about how a series of petty crimes have escalated to bullets flying through windows. This is the window where the where the bullet came through. When a 22 caliber bullet shattered his bedroom window, Ryan Christensen and his family slept through it. We had no idea at that point that anything had happened. But next door, their neighbor's bedroom window shattered too, moments after his wife walked into the room. In all, four bullets hit this house. The man didn't want to be identified for fear of retaliation, but says it's just lucky his wife wasn't hit. It's terrifying. It's absolutely unacceptable. This is the door that was broken. Christensen says investigators were able to use his screen door also broken by a bullet to figure out the trajectory. You can see there's a clear line of sight to the yard behind them. We were able to identify three juvenile suspects. Police arrested three teens aged 13, 15, and 17. Neighbors say they don't feel any safer, though. Petty crimes have been escalating for weeks, so they're starting a neighborhood watch of their own. The strength and unity, and so that's what we're doing. We're, we're taking a stance. But these days, no one is sleeping as sound. Last night we did not sleep with the windows open like we usually do. And in this neighborhood full of families, they are scared. Police say those three teenagers face felony charges, including reckless endangerment and illegal discharge of the firearm. Now, we tried to talk to their parents, but the person who answered the door at their house slammed the door in our faces. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.